Good morning. So I realized earlier that some of you may have found my Instagram account through some of my recent workouts and my change um, as I slowly become um, a coach. And I figured since it was day one, it was time to uh, share a little bit more information about me so that you know who I am and what I do. So, um, what am I? I'm a massage therapist by day, um, super mom by night, I guess. I actually run uh, multiple businesses, uh, a brick and mortar store sort of thing, which is my massage clinic. We have five treatment rooms and there are eight therapists here all together, including myself. Um, and this has been my baby now for nine years. Our ninth anniversary will be in July. Um, and it's a, it's a very stressful and very busy, but it keeps me on my toes and it's something I really love to do because I really love to um, make people feel good. I really do enjoy um, sharing with them and learning their stories and hearing about their life and f helping them find ways to take ownership of their health and take ownership um, just all the things that they do on a day-to-day -day basis. So I run my massage clinic here in central Scotland and I am also, there we go, um, I am also a coach um, in the massage industry, an educator. I develop continued education courses and this is for people who um, are already qualified as massage therapists and are looking to expand on their skill set and expand on their knowledge. So um, that is a business called Dynamic Bodywork Academy. And it's been interesting. I love learning new things. I love uh, sharing uh, with people. I love helping people learn uh, the wonders of massage therapy and how amazing our bodies are. So um, I love to share that with people. I have just finished my uh, first intake on a group of therapists who were starting from scratch and getting their massage diploma. They've finished the first step, which is their basic Swedish massage diploma. They have two more blocks to go and they will be um, fully qualified remedial massage therapists. So I'm really enjoying that experience um, and finding out more about myself on that journey. Uh, about the things that um, I need to adjust in myself, about uh, my organisational skills and how to handle stress and emergencies. Uh, so that's who I am um, on a day-to-day -day basis, but you're probably here because you've seen me talking about my um, awesome transformation team and the challenge that I'm running. Uh, and this is all part of uh, Beachbody's Transform 20 program, which we started together today. Uh, I'm really excited about Transform 20. I have enjoyed uh, Sean T's workouts for a long time, mainly because I, um, as a teenager, I was a dancer. So I enjoy the dance elements um, and Sean T's personality. And the fact that these uh, workouts are only 20 minutes long are fantastic because they fit into my busy schedule when I'm not running around after my daughter, picking her up, taking her to school or taking her to after school activities. Um, I'm working in the clinic. So the free time that I have for myself is very limited. And that's where these nice, short, um, but intense workouts come in and Transform 20 is perfect for that. If you can't tell from my accent, I live in Scotland, here in central Scotland. I'm on the central belt, kind of in the middle between Edinburgh and Glasgow. Um, it's a little bit of a kind of rural area, but with easy access to the big cities. So I don't have to be too overwhelmed by being near or in the big city all the time. I really enjoy it. Um, as far as what else am I doing uh, to focus on uh, a total transformation for myself. I am adding a daily um, multivitamin to my routine. It's something that I've been trying to add in for a while just to see if it has any impact because uh, you're never sure what you're kind of lacking vitamin wise and mineral wise. So um, it's a 
a kind of dissolvable multivitamin that I drink and I drink that with my water in the mornings um, mainly because I also uh, do intermittent fasting which means that for a longer period of time during the day, five days a week, um, I fast so I'm on uh, water or black coffee only and then I have a short period of time which is sometimes a six hour window, sometimes a four hour window and that's where I consume most of my calories. Um, I used to be very bad at breaking that fasting window with something that was uh, pretty bad for me. I would you know, grab a bar of chocolate, something that was convenient and quick for me to grab to eat. Um, but I have decided to throw in uh, a superfood smoothie to break my fast because obviously um, the extra vitamins from the superfoods uh, will help break my fast in a little bit more of a healthier way than I've been breaking it previously and hopefully my body being introduced to all these new foods that um, it's never experienced before uh, it'll be interesting to see what kind of impact that has on my digestive system and on my overall health um, my goals for this challenge for me personally are is to uh, regain control of my body and regain control of my emotions and my mind. Um, I realized at the end of last year that I had fallen into a deep, deep depression after um, almost two years of dealing with the loss of my dad. I didn't realize that the, his death had impacted me quite the way that um, it did. And I really didn't have time to mourn his passing because I run a business and you can't really take time off when you're self-employed or when you are the boss. You have to make sure everybody else is taken care of. So um, I didn't really take the time to process uh, his passing and to mourn his passing. And as time went on, um, I didn't realize that, that grief had turned into depression. Um, it started um, having an impact on my sleep condition which is uh, I have narcolepsy and with narcolepsy I either have long periods of time where I have excessive daytime sleepiness or long periods of time of insomnia and over the last two years I have been stuck in this insomnia cycle and getting very little sleep at night so in a way to try and self-medicate self-manage these uh, symptoms I decided it was time to start working out again and the beautiful thing about uh, the Transform 20 program is it's not just a physical workout. Um, thanks to the inspirational kind of reality TV episodes that are included in the program, it has me thinking about uh, the reasons why I'm doing these workouts and who I'm doing it for because at the end of the day I'm doing it for me. I'm not doing this for anyone else. I'm not doing this because I want to be skinny. I'm not doing this because I want to appear sexy on the internet. I'm doing this because I feel like I've lost control. And, <laughs> and doing a program like this lets you regain control of your life and uh, regain control of uh, what you commit to. And so it's really nice that the first couple of weeks of the program, the uh, emphasis is on making a commitment, committing to that 20 minutes a day because it's baby steps. You just take baby steps, and make one small commitment every day to change something in your life for the better. And, sorry, maybe it's going to be uh, joining me on another one of these transformation challenges or um, deciding to become a coach yourself. Uh, but yeah, so I hope that through this journey with Transform 20, I can feel like I'm finally back in control of myself, of my life, of my body. I can focus on my work. I can find joy spending time with my daughter again, which is something that I have lost over the last couple of years. And uh, it's exciting. It's amazing how um, a program like this can make such a huge impact on your life. And I hope that you'll consider joining me on this journey. So thank you. Uh, I appreciate you putting up with me crying. And I hope that uh, you have a wonderful day.
no matter what it is you're doing today. So, enjoy.